Hello, everyone. This is Latia for you coming today with another scripture from the Lord. We are in Romans chapter 12, verse 10, as well as Ephesians chapter 6, verse 5. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Thank you, Father God, for this word, Lord Jesus. Bless your children. Help us to know how to treat one another, even if that person is over us or under us, whatever. Lord God, help us to know how to treat people. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, Romans chapter 12, verse 10. Love one another with brotherly affection. Outdo one another in showing honor. Oh, that's a nice one. Love one another. That's how we are to treat each other in love, right? The spirit of God is is a spirit who causes us to love one another. He drives us into situations where people are in need of love, where people um, don't think they need love, right? But we are to be the vessels of love that the Holy Spirit fills and, and pours out into each person. It says, love one another with brotherly affection, meaning that this is not based on relationships. This type of love is a brotherly love uh, of, I think it's phileo. So we are to be as brothers and sisters because that's how we are in the kingdom of God, right? When we go to um, heaven, we won't be given in marriage. So um, at least not the same way as on earth. So we need to be giving brotherly and sisterly affection, um, even especially as it is appropriate. The Holy Spirit will lead you and guide you in that. Um, and he he wants us to love one another with brotherly affection, meaning that, you know what, if it requires a hug, give that person a hug. People need hugs nowadays. It's surprising that, you know, sometimes you will hug somebody and you'll realize as you're hugging them that they needed the hug. You know, and the, the way they kind of collapse into your arms. So, you know, give people hugs, be that person, right? I used to have this aunt who she was older and she used to hug you so hard. Like she was known for these hard, hard hugs. And I, I miss that, you know, I remember her for that. And I love that about her. You know, when I was a kid, I hated it. I would be like, why does she hug you so hard? And like, she kisses you and leaves spit on you. She, I didn't mind that part, but the the hug that hurt. I used to hate it as a kid, and now as an adult, I miss it so much. So, yeah, love one another with brotherly affection. It says, outdo one another in showing honor. Wow. So, so we should be outdoing ourselves in showing honor to people. Um, um, you want to receive people and and make them feel good about themselves. Um, one thing my uncle used to do, I, I don't know if he still does this, but um, he would see his friends in restaurants and things. And he used to say, Dr. Such and Such, really loud, like in restaurants in there, they weren't doctors. I, I'm not advising that you lie at all but I just thought it was funny that he would always like try to boost them up and he would always like try to make all of his friends you know feel that kind of way like oh the most important man in the house is here you know so we need to be doing that we need to be showing honor to people we need to to give them cards give them flowers give them honor right the same way we we honor our parents and we acknowledge them we recognize them we need to do that and be out doing ourselves trying to to do that for other people amen all right you guys so this is completed today with ephesians chapter 6 verse 5 bond servants obey your earthly masters with fear and trembling with a sincere heart as you would christ wow so when you conflate the two of these verses, you see that you're going to not only have to obey your earthly masters with fear and trembling, but there's love in that, right? You need to have sincere heart, right? And to have that sincere heart as you would Christ, like in your obedience, you need to have love. 
right? And so bond servant just means like slave. So, but when we're talking about earthly situations where we are slaves or indentured or or have to do a service for someone else, our most common thing is work, right? Where we work and the people that we work with or volunteer with. And so, you know, that could, that in itself is a great opportunity for us to obey, right? If we are told to do something, it's a good thing to obey. It says with fear and trembling, right? Now, if they're talking about doing something that is against what the Holy Spirit is telling you to do, then that's something different. But when it comes to just your daily job and the things that you need to do, do it with fear and trembling, meaning do it in a position of you want to fully do it. You want to do it as unto Christ, right? Is if Christ told you to do that thing, then you want to do it so well and so fully that it it's as if you're serving the king, right? So it says with a sincere heart, meaning you're not doing it um, in a fake way right and and smiling and you're not everything in your heart is saying something different don't want to be like that right it says as you would Christ someone who could peer into your heart as you would be doing it for him right with love and sincerity and let's look back at that previous verse love one another with brotherly affection and that includes that master right it says outdo one another in showing honor all right. And that includes that master. So you need to be honoring that master. If it's your boss's birthday, go out of your way, get that card, get that extra super expensive balloon. Balloons are so expensive nowadays, unless you get them from a dollar store, but do whatever you can to honor that person. Make that person feel good on their birthday, even if they don't treat you well, because what you're doing is you're showing the light of Christ, right? You're showing, you're showing the love of Christ and you're showing what brotherly affection is in Christ. So you are a great example and you should press and push towards that. Don't hang out with the gossipers. Don't hang out, be even seen around people who are, are sinning, standing in the way of sinners, right? We, we don't need to be doing that. We need to love one another with brotherly affection and, and we need to show honor to one another. All right, you guys. And so the, a little bit further into Ephesians chapter six, I just wanted to read just so that we can have a better understanding of that obeying our, our earthly masters with fear and trembling with a sincere heart as you would uh, Christ. It says bond servants, obey your earthly masters with fear and trembling with a sincere heart as you would Christ. Verse six says, not by a way of eye service as people please pleasers, but as bond servants of Christ, doing the will of God from the heart. Wow. So from the heart, we need to be pouring from a place of love where God pours into us. We're pouring into others, right? And there's no insincerity in that. There's no eye service or or people pleasing, trying to win favor with people. No, we don't, we don't do what we do for those reasons, right? We're doing it as unto serving the King, as unto Christ. All right. And so, um, and we don't do things to be seen, right? We don't want to do things just to be seen doing them. If anything, you don't want to let your right hand know what your left hand's doing. If, if you are, are going in there and cleaning out the refrigerator at work, you're not doing it so everyone can see you and see how clean you are right? If you're waiting until after hours or, or you're doing a little here and a little there. So it's not, it doesn't seem as if you're trying to be seen, right? If, if you do extra, whether it be for your mate or for anyone, try to do it not for eye service, right? Do it or, or as people pleasers, we're doing it as unto Christ because you need, know it needs to be done. You want to honor that person. You want to um, love that person with brotherly affection, right? So we should do what we do as unto Christ. Amen. All right. And it says rendering service with a good, this verse seven, rendering service with a good will as to the Lord and not to man. So we're doing what we're doing as unto God, right? Not, not to one another, 
right? Yes, we are showing love to one another, but it's it says unto Christ. So we need to show the best that we can because Christ died for us, right? So the very least we can do is show great love to our brothers and sisters. It says knowing that whether whatever good anyone does, this he will receive back from the Lord, whether he is a bond servant or free. So God has a reward for this, these things, right? God has a reward when you're doing things as unto Christ. God has a reward when you're loving one another and when you're obeying one another and, and treating each other well, showing affection, showing honor. God sees these things and he wants to bless you, right? It says, knowing that whatever good anyone does, this he will receive back from the Lord, whether he is a bond servant or is free. All right, so let's go ahead and pray. Thank you, Father God, for this beautiful blessing of the conflation. God, bless the people. Help them to obey. Help them to love. Help them to do it as unto Christ. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Lord God, you're so wonderful. Amen. All right. You guys, let's go ahead and pray. If there's anybody out there who would like to receive Christ as their Savior and Lord, go ahead and pray this prayer with me. But more than anything, believe it with all your heart as you confess it with your mouth. Dear Lord Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. Jesus, I believe you died on the cross and I believe you rose again on the third day so that I could be saved. Thank you, Father God, for doing this for me. Jesus, forgive me of all of my sins. In your name I pray, Jesus. Amen. All right, you guys. If you pray that prayer and you believe that prayer, then the Holy Spirit is come into you and sealed you until the day of redemption. And no one can break that seal except Christ Jesus himself when he comes to redeem his church. The Holy Spirit is in you to lead you and guide you into all truth, meaning he's going to show you the way. He's going to show you where to go get baptized, what church to join, um, what other believers to hang around so that you can stay sharp in the word of God. Amen. All right, you guys, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you and give you his children his peace. Take care.